Hello and welcome back to Nat Scraps and the fourth video in our National Scrapbooking Day 6x8 to 12x12 layouts and today we are embellishing okay and the very first thing you see there is I have snuck in a another stamp set so in the National Scrapbooking Day there is another uh, kit that is a 12 by 12 kit and has this fantastic stamp set in it and I'm going to sneak that stamp set in but I will show you what as we go along without that stamp set and with that stamp set so you know exactly what you can do with what you have in this kit or what you can do if you get both of those kits now both of the stamp sets are exclusive to the kits for the National Scrapbooking Day. So it's not like you can just go out and get the stamp set. You do actually have to buy the kit as well, but they are fantastic. So here on layout, the opening layout, oh, it just went by really quick. You've seen these blue ones and I'm bringing them here in here on this layout. These are the blue die cuts that come with the kit, guys. Now, I didn't put these on all of the pages because some of the pages don't have that dark blue on them. But a lot of them do um, work their way into being able to have these um, sapphire die cuts on them. So you do what you want, but there's heaps in that little packet. You think it's a tiny little packet. How on earth am I going to use them? I still have quite a few left in the packet. So they do go quite a long way. Here you can see I've put those in. Now the little bits and pieces that I'm adding here is I'm going to add a couple of little tags, one on the left and one on the right. And I'm going to have a little bit of that stripy paper. Now that stripy paper that's in my little pocket with the little sun coming out, now that's a little journaling thing that can pop out of that pocket. That is, um, I'm bringing that stripy paper in on the tags on the side and that's just moving it because I've got none of that stripe over on the right hand side and I just wanted to move a little bit of it over there. I am going to stamp a little sentiment from the set that comes with this kit so so much and I believe I put a little sun on there. Now the sun is in the middle of another title so what I do is I cut a little bit of masking tape and cut like just the, the size of the word sun out. <laughs> I pop that down and then I make sure that I'm masked everywhere that the rest of that sentiment is going to be except for sun and stamp over the top leaving me with just the word sun underneath it so much. And that is going to pop there on that side. I am going to stick those little die cuts down and then I am going to make a pocket I believe for the I'll just, no, I don't make a pocket on this one for the other side. That's another layout. I'm getting all these, I think it's uh, 11. There's 11 layouts all in total here, guys. So I am getting these all confused. I have actually broken down this embellishment in into two parts. So um, it was getting really long. And I, so it, it has been broken down a little bit. So please come back, see the second part of this. Um, I will release them within days of each other just so people can watch them pretty quickly because I know there's quite a few of you that are lining up to get these kits, got them in the mail already and want to start working on them and see what I have done. This is the next layout. I've used those blue die cuts um, again down the bottom and at the top of my embellishments. I'm creating a sun and this is replicating what was on the 6x8 album. There was a little sun on a stripy piece so I'm just bringing in that and replicating it. It's a good time to remind you these are not my designs. They are somebody else has put all the hard work into designing these. I am just changing them up from being a 6x8 to 12x12. 12 12. So it, I'm by no means am I doing something miraculous. Somebody else has already done all the hard work. Here's where I get a bit sneaky and I am going to bring in that other stamp set. So I'm only using the two stamp sets, but I am a bit naughty in that I'm bringing that in and I'm using that to do a lot of bits and pieces around on these pages and create a few extra little embellishments. Here there's that this is right here and I am going to cut out a couple of the little yellow arrows as well and then do a sprinkling the um, extra bonus stamp set you can see down there it has lots of little um, tiny splattery pieces like a couple of little um, dotty things little stars there's um, some fake washi tape lots of really cute 
small embellishy kind of things and um i'm actually in love with this stamp set so i um i seen it on a close to my heart live they did or a, um uploaded a video showing the kit in more detail and when i seen the stamps i said i hadn't even looked at it I'd, i'm like i'm pulling that out of my stash and i am going to rip that one open i need to use all those lovely cute little embellishments so i do apologize that i went off script a bit and i have been a bit naughty and brought something in but a lot of you guys will have things like this too though that you can add to pages and don't be afraid to do that add add them make these kits your own um i did want to show it like just what was there but um i think you'll appreciate the effect we'll get with a few extra little bits and pieces and as i said you can do it without these you've got those blue die cuts um and you, you could get away with just ripping some of these papers so these are leftover bits and pieces of the solid cardstock that i've bought in you could just rip a little bit of cardstock and put up there you don't have to have the stamp to make it into a washi tape piece you could do that without having that stamp set as well so i've put that little clipboardy kind of piece up there in the corner so i can do a little tiny bit of journaling on that and here I'm just adding a few more little yellow star sprinkles. These are the little bits and pieces that I'm talking about. There's just like little dots and sprinkles that you can stamp around and make your own. Um, just adds a little bit of texture and a little bit of detail where it could be quite boring. Those um, arrows, not stars, arrows, I'm just putting on a little bit of magic mount. And then when I go to stick that little clipboard on, I think I put... No, I didn't. I was going to say I put a little bit of magic, a bit of foam tape behind the top, but I didn't. And that's that finished layout, guys. And we're moving along. Am I talking fast? I feel like I'm talking fast to try to keep up because I didn't want these videos to get too long. This is the next layout, and you'll see the difference when I get my photos onto this layout. Now, all my photos are from a 2016, I can't believe it's that long ago, trip to Bali. And I have just added um, th those photos to these layouts. I thought sunshine, beautiful, and the colors in the photos worked really well with the colors in the layout. So it tended to work really, really well. Now this is going back to the kit stamp set and I'm putting so much sunshine, sun, I can't say that word, sunshine um, up the top there and then I'm going to bring in a couple of the rays. Now please, please, please be careful with this stamp set. This, this one in particular, this one with the large bits on it, I tore mine guys. I took it off the block when I was being in a bit of a hurry and they are thin in between each of those rays so please be a little bit careful with these take them gently lift them off their acetate gently lift them off their blocks and place them back down do not be a doofus like me now I'm going in and I'm adding a little bit of the sun rays at the top and the bottom there I'm using just a piece of paper from a notepad there to mask um, over where I don't want the stamping on this bottom one I do end up going back and adding a bit of um, bit around the top there because I found I didn't like it and you can see there I put my water brush in there it didn't quite stamp because of the different layers um, really well over the top there so I just got my water brush just to fill in where it was missing and I think I'd do that a bit later on a sentiment too that doesn't quite stamp perfectly it's a nice little tip if you find that you've stamped somewhere and you can't just um, re-stamp that you can fill it in with your water brush and just dab it into your ink pad to get the um, ink up to add there. Here I'm making two tags again a little bit similar to what I did earlier. I'm bringing in the dotty again because the dots only on that left hand side I want to bring that dot around the page a little bit. The idea of my sons is that that will has three triangles that I'm kind of got those embellishments on and helps your eye travel around the page but this dotty bit in three sections will help as well um, so I've brought it in on the right hand side I am going to repeat that and I am going to bring it in on the left hand side as well as well as using up a few tiny little scraps it doesn't take much paper to make a little tag like this 
it um, adds those little details and wow doesn't that look so much better once you get those photos on and that's what I meant about my photos um, being perfect for these layouts the teals the oranges and um, the blues just worked perfectly so it, it was serendipitous that my photos had been sitting there waiting for so long to be scrapped that is Oh, not quite this one done so I am going to now do a bit of hand stamping and then I remember that other stamp set has this really cute little X um, stampy bit there so I'm going to bring that in just in a, a few locations on the corners and then hand stamp the rest of the way around that and it just adds a little detail and you know what before I'd done that I was thinking this layout looked a little bit boring but wow I am so happy with the finished results so if you haven't got this stamp set, you want that look at home, definitely go and um, hand draw them in. That's it guys. That's the first half of this, um, this embellishing. As I said, there is another video with the second half. Thank you guys for coming along on this journey. So many of you have um, hit the like button, the subscribe button and left some lovely, lovely comments. Um, please continue to think about doing that. I appreciate everything you guys do for me and my channel. And I hope to see you on the next one. Have a great day. Bye.